Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your friend Brandon with Taylor's Fire and Smoke Barbecue and Cooking Show. Today we're going to be working on some uh, spare ribs, St. Louis cut spare ribs. I'm going to take you with me as I go through the process, put them on the smoke, and uh, see how you like what I do with them. Uh, sit back and enjoy. All right, welcome in, guys. Like I said earlier, we're doing St. Louis cut spare ribs today. These are some pretty nice thick ribs that we were able to get. We're just going to start off by cleaning the backs of these ribs. Cutting off the loose meat that we're not going to want on them and pulling off that membrane as well. Like I said earlier in the earlier video, you want to make sure that you have sharp knives. It makes everything so much easier when you're trying to trim your meat. We're just going to get a paper towel. That makes it so much easier to pull that membrane off. You're definitely going to want that membrane off. I know some people go straight from the package to the pit. That's not me. I like to pull that membrane off. I like to wash my meat, clean it, rinse it off before I do any prep to it. So these have already been washed and now we're just going to get that membrane pulled off. So once you get your paper towel, you get hold of it. This comes off fairly easy. No issue. I'm just going to clean up that loose stuff. I'm a firm believer in simple is better. So these are, we're just going to have a simple uh, yellow mustard binder, black pepper, kosher salt, and uh, just a little spice rub that we're going to use to add color and a little sweetness to our uh, ribs today. So you do want to season the back side and the front side of your ribs. Lighter on the back, heavier on the front. There's the black pepper. Then we're going to go with a light layer of kosher salt. Then that spice rub. It's heavy on brown sugar, paprika, granulated garlic, granulated onion. That's basically it for that. I'm going to flip them over and repeat the process. It's a real light layer of that mustard. It doesn't take much. And I was told by an older woman years ago that the mustard helped tenderize the meat as well. I saw her putting it on pork steaks and chicken and whatever she barbecued. And I cannot confirm nor deny that, but I have been doing it ever since then. That's probably been over 25 years now. All right. Layer of salt. Rub. It looks pretty heavy on the front side, but you have to remember that we're going to be spritzing these throughout the cook, and so through with that spritz, sometimes you do lose some of the seasoning. So we have a couple more slabs we're going to get done, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and work those out, and then we'll see you at the pit. Alright guys, my intention was to have you guys go out with me as we put the uh, ribs on the pit. But as you saw, the rains came, so I was not able to show that. The rain did stop, so this is where we picked up. This is about an hour to hour and a half in. I'm using water and apple juice as my spritz. And they're coming along real well. We are using the Master Built Sportsman Elite again today. Over Mesquite. They're looking good. More rain, guys. More rain. So this is about three and a half to four hours in. 
and they're doing real well. We probably got another hour or so before we're ready. No rat. And here's the finished product. Like I said, once the rain came, I was not able to go out as much and show you guys uh, more of the process. I will definitely upload another video of rib cook. That's a little more detailed at a later date. But this is the fin finished product. You can see that mahogany color. Very moist, very delicious. All right, guys, I apologize that I wasn't able to bring you in a little bit more with me as we did this cook. As you can see in the video, the rain decided not to cooperate with us. So I will most definitely do a more in-depth uh, cook on my rear process and letting you see a little bit more at a later date. But I hope you're able to get the gist of what I do. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys coming on this journey with me today. Uh, Till the next time.